what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for choosing to watch this video if you're new here today my name is betty welcome to betty az youtube channel and for all the returning subscribers i want to appreciate you so much thank you so much for always being here and always coming back to watch my channel my videos and all the new subscribers, I want to say thank you so much. And if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, kindly uh, consider subscribing as a way of supporting. Today, I'm going to prepare dinner as we talk. Uh, welcome to my kitchen, uh, Mikasa Sukasa. How about that? Yeah, how about Mikasa Sukasa? How about my home is your home? Eh? I'm warming up some leftover food uh, to eat for lunch because I haven't eaten anything um, since morning. You know what? I was telling my friend the other day, I say, I think I do intermittent fasting because I eat, I don't eat much. I, I take, I spend a lot of hours without eating. I can have a fruit, uh, a snack, but not like I eat a meal. I eat once a day so i guess that's why I've, I've lost i've lost so much weight i'm not like i don't know i think guys what do you think am i have i lost weight or i'm always like that that's how i am now i smart son ask me where i'm going mm -hmm. yeah so welcome to my kitchen today we are going to make some rice as you can see uh let me flip my kitchen is so clean today so no mess yeah um um, I have all my ingredients. I'm going to make a very simple meal today. I'm planning to make a very simple meal, simple dinner uh, for me and my kids. And so as you can see, I have tomatoes and sweet peppers. I love those sweet peppers. I have my cilantro over there. I have, um, oh my God, what do you call this? <laughs> I have that. I have this, a little bit of ginger and garlic and uh, we are making lentils. I don't know if you eat lentils, but that's what we're gonna make. Kamade. I love lentils. You know, this is my all. I love, I really love lentils and rice. And we're gonna make rice. I don't know what to do on the side. Uh, do you make sides or you eat it the way it is? Lentils and rice, and that's it. Do you usually make like extra vegetables? Uh, let me know because I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn different different meals i'm gonna make my rice here uh so this is the rice i use as you can see imesha i use this one from from uh, costco oh my god this time i have a lot of shopping to do at costco i keep talking about going to costco and i'm like wow i don't have tissues i don't have paper towel i don't have now i don't have the rice i have to throw the bag because everything um i mean the rice is gone what's the point of saving the bag so uh let's go ahead and prepare uh everything we have to prepare i think the first thing we're going to do i'm trying to set the camera the first thing guys we are going to make together is uh, uh, uh let me fix this camera so that i you can see me as i prepare uh the first thing we're going to prepare is kamande the lentils um they're going to boil some lentils um if you don't know what lentils are uh those are some type of beans my kids love it and i find it um i find them easy to easy to make easy to digest easy to cook yeah some of those things that don't give you a hard time to cook so let's cut this i don't want to bite uh, if you if i'm not on camera i will just bite the bag so i'll just go ahead and dump it in here and guess what I, I have to i have it's 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 in me i have to check no matter what i have to check because you always find something in there so i'm gonna check real quick and then um and then i clean it yeah this is how the beans you see they're clean yeah but i'll just go ahead and just double check Oh my god there's a truck outside making a lot of noise i double checked and everything seems clean uh so let's go ahead and wash let's go ahead and wash the my oh my goodness i need to fold the sleeves guys as i said uh next month we are applying green card green card applications uh it's time for you to try guys apply for green card okay if you haven't tried even if you tried last year and you did not win just so just try it again do not do not be discouraged okay 
Let me tell you, green card changes lives. And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of people coming to the U.S., um, to a lot of people, it changes lives. You might not realize, but let me tell you, a lot of people, when they get a chance of going abroad, it changes their lives. I, I always try to imagine my life if I never made it here. I'm like, okay, maybe I could have made it, but let me tell you what. It, I, I think about some things now, when I think about some things that happen in my life, and I look at it and I'm like, can you imagine if I never made it to the U.S.? I, you know, can you imagine? You guys, can you imagine? Like, seriously, yani ile tu ni kuhaso ni nini na nini and going through the stuff. I mean, I, I thank God. I can never, and I'm not saying coming to the U.S. like, Ati, that's when you made it in life. But it's a blessing. It's a blessing. To a lot of people, it, it is a blessing. And if you're watching this video, we can agree with you. We can all agree with you. This country has a lot of opportunities. Not just the U.S., even going to other, you know, like these first world countries. Funny enough, because the people who are born and raised here, they don't see the chances, they don't see the opportunities, yeah? And some people, they come here from Africa and they still complain day in, day out. They just complain. I was talking to this a person the other day and she was just so negative about this country. And she came, she lives here, but she was so negative about it. Like to her, there's nothing good about here. And I'm like, why do you live here then? I'm serious. Like, why do you live here? If you keep complaining and complaining and you hate, oh my God, how I hate it here. Oh, US is so bad. Oh, back home is so good. Oh, I'm like, okay, girl, just pack your bags and go. If back home is really good for you, then why are you doing here? And I'm not saying that uh, everybody should praise this country, but at least we be grateful. Be grateful that you made it. There are so many people that try green card every year yeah every year and they have they have not made it they have not made it here there are so many we can tell the truth so many people right now if you go to africa a lot of people are looking for the exit a lot of people are looking for their way out why because things are things are tough they, you know i went to kenya and life is so expensive i don't even know how people make it like it's so expensive so super super expensive so guys whenever you see someone in this country that is complaining saying how they had a good life in kenya why did they come here let me tell you if you come here expecting that things will be so smooth 100 percent, you're lying to yourself there are things you will not find that they are back home and there are things that you will not find back home that they are here there are things that you will go to australia and find and there are things that you go to australia and not find you cannot, life is never perfect. There is always like uh, up and down, wherever you go. It's about, it's about the mindset. It's about how you take it, you know. We cannot say that U.S. at the, oh my goodness, coming to USA is, is everything is, everything is 100%. No. Some days you will find challenges and you, you feel like, oh my God, I'm better off. But then you have to ask yourself, you have to ask yourself questions and be like, why am I here? Ask yourself questions. Say, why am I here? If then, if I'm not happy here, right now, if I get one way ticket, can I go back home? Can I survive? Will I need this country? If I ever, if you pack your bag right now, and I asked that girl, actually I asked that lady, I said, okay, if right now I book a ticket for you, I book a one way ticket and, and tell you never to come back, are you sure you're going to make it? Are you sure you're going to go back to that good life you're talking about? Are you sure? And I said, you know what? I, you, it, and she was like, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, life, you know, I'm sure I cannot go back to where I was or whatever. I want a better life. I want to make sure that, uh, you know, I, I, I invest. First of all, I want to make sure by the time I go home, I have things put together. And I'm like, there you are. There you are. You know, there I say, there you go. You are you are not going back yet because you haven't invested, right? I think I've watched the beans enough. What do you think, guys? They are starting cook. They are started. They have even started cooking. And I'm washing with hot water. I'll rinse one more time. Yeah. So I said to this person, I said then. Then why you why why do you keep saying that back home is back home is much better than US? Of course we know, you know. And then 
So we had this conversation and she was like, no, back home I used to have a nanny. Here I don't have a nanny. Back home I used to just say, give me, give me food, you know. Can you give me a plate of food? Have you fed? Are the kids fed? Did you watch the kids? You know? And I went to visit. I, I remember laughing. You know, I was see, I could see my friends. They're like, hey, I'm coming with a guest. Can you cook for two? Can you cook some food? Can you cook this and this and this? I'm bringing some guests. I, they just, it, you know, help is just a phone call away. That's how much, that's how much help is. Like, there's so much help. There's so much support. <laughs> there's so much help back home. And you're just like, wow, life is smooth in that sense, yeah? But guess what? You have to ask yourself, trying and getting a chance to come to this country, even if it will remove you from your comfort zone, do you think your life will be better off? Do you think your life will be better? Do you think you'll be able to reach your goals faster than when you are back home? Do you think? Yeah? Because let me tell you, that life is so sweet. I was looking at my friends and I'm like, wow, you guys are living a good life. You know, there's always something to admire. And let me tell you guys, uh, Africa, oh, that one needs to go. Africa is not, Africa is not bad at all. Africa is really good and it's a beautiful continent, you know. And Africa is awesome, but there are things that you are not able to achieve as fast. And when you come to these countries, you, you get to achieve them. Oh, you get to get them quick, yeah? Uh, not everyone, trust you me, if you come to this country and you're focused and you have your mind, you have your goals and you have, uh, you have your plan, you have your goals, you have all the things listed what do you want to do where do you want to be in the next five years in the next 10 years what do you want what what is it that you really want what brought you here you have to ask yourself so trying and giving it a shot coming here is worth it even if you don't win that green card even if you don't win give it a tr give it another try and another try and another try until you win never give up Never give up. That's the motto. Never give up. Never give up. You know, even if I know some, a lot of people, they, a lot of people, they try green card, they don't win. But green card is really good. Green card is the best way to, to come to this country. Because when you come here, you, you're already a permanent resident. And you just come straight starting. Well, it's not like a fiancé visa where you have to come and depend with your fiancé for a little bit. You wait for 90 days, you get married, blah, blah, blah. You go through immigration. Once you come with a green card, you are done with the, pretty much done with immigration. Yeah? Because the only thing left is what? Citizenship. And that's, that's very easy to do. So it's a blessing to win that green card. And that's why I always encourage people, apply that green card. You never know. You know? Don't think, don't ever, ever be discouraged. Because I, I know some people, are because they, you know, we complain. We forget and we complain about these countries. And, and people say how hard it is, how difficult it is to raise kids here, how difficult, how there is no social life. What social life are you looking for? You know, you, have, in, you are in your 30s. You've been having fun for 30 years. Like, seriously, <laughs> what other social life are you looking for? We have to ask ourselves, fine. I'm in my 30s, I'm in my 20s, what else am I looking for? Yeah? I'm in my 50s, I'm in my 60s. Like, nirahagani sijakula. So, coming to this country, you don't worry about some things, you just put them on the side. Like, worrying about social life, worrying about going to party. Oh my God, I'm not able to party. And also, uh, I understand there is a lot of help. When it comes to like having a nanny, having a nanny and having a nanny do everything that you want it done. One thing, one good news I want to tell you is, yeah, even in America, in America you can have a nanny too. It all depends with what you're doing and your income. And it's possible. It's possible to make six figures in this country. It is very possible. Even if you're not making six figures, it's very possible to have a nanny. You know, because I've seen some people who employ uh, like older ladies or, you know, like ladies who are not able to, to um, 
you know, shoshos who are not able to go to work, to, to go to my shift, easy my shift, my shift to work all, and they have them in their homes to help them with the kids, yeah? Even if they are just helping with the kids, it's, it's still good help. And it's possible. It's possible. It's, you know, I always say this. I was talking to another lady and I said, she said, Betty, can I leave my kids back home when I win green card? I said, why are you leaving them there? You want to tell me Americans, they have to take their, the, the Americans who are here, they don't raise their kids. It's not possible. There are Americans here who don't have support and they still raise their kids and they grow. Not everybody who has the support, you know, you struggle, yeah. It's not easy, yeah, but it's doable. There's always a way out. Even if you struggle one year, two years, trust me, your kids will grow. Yeah, so don't ever be discouraged. Let no one ever discourage you and tell you that, uh, and tell you that coming to the U.S. is not worth it. It is worth it, guys. Trust me, this place is worth it. Me, I've seen it firsthand. America has changed my life in a very big way. Financially, even just the life, you know, the things I can afford. Can you imagine the things that I can afford right now, being a mom of two, I just, I always say, thank you, God. Let me check the time. Oh, my God, what time is it? It's about time to go pick up my daughter. Almost time, yeah? I think I'm going to come and finish off cooking later because I don't want to be late going to pick her up. Yeah, guys, give it a shot. Don't ever feel bad. Yeah, there's not, if, if you come here, don't expect that there's so much help. Don't expect that there will be a nanny waiting for you, cooking for you, because even when, even when you hire a nanny here, Trust you me, most of them, they just do the child work. If you hire a nanny here in this country to watch your kids, all they do is watch your kids. That's what you... Ah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. If you hire a nanny, you hire them for, for, for watching the kids, not for cleaning for you, doing laundry for you. But then it depends, yeah? Some people... Uh, I know a lady who has hired uh, a nanny, an older Kenyan lady, and she does everything. Yeah, she does. She doesn't do her laundry or anything like that, but she does the kids' laundry. She cooks. She actually cooks for the whole family. She doesn't mind cooking. So it depends. But most cases, if you hire like a professional nanny, they don't do the cooking. They don't do the cleaning. They don't do all those things for you. You come and do it yourself. Yeah. You'll have to come home and do it yourself. <laughs> so don't come with a lot of expectations. Don't come, don't, when you come to the U.S., don't come thinking negative about this country. Because trust you me, if you come here thinking negative, oh yeah, you're going to test that negative. Come with a positive mind. Come with a, a mind, a winner mind, and you're going to win. You know? Come with a, with a fighter mind. Come with a... <laughs> Hmm? knowing I'm going to fight all the, the, the battles, yeah, all the challenges I will overcome. Come here knowing that with a purpose, knowing that there is something that brought you here, there is something that made you apply that green card and winning that green card. I, fig I, I think a lot of people that come into the U.S. easy are the people that complain the most. If you have applied green card and you win, Hey, you really wanted, it's you that you really, really wanted to come out of that country. Even if it's not green card, find other ways to relocate. Find other ways to come to this country, even if you don't come to America. Find another way to go somewhere that you're going to be earning a little more than what you are earning in that country where you are. Because guess what? When you go somewhere, even if it's the Middle East, if you go somewhere that you're able to earn a little more, that's the, that's the only way you can be able to, that's the only way you can be able to achieve your goals fast. Let's talk about building. If you want to build, invest, yeah? That's the, the only way you can be able to invest quickly is by having some good income.
And if you cannot make that income back home, that paper is not good. If you cannot make that good income back in your country, then try somewhere else. Yeah? And let's not always take it for granted. You know, the people that we are here already, let's not always take it, let's not take it for granted. It's a blessing to be in these countries. Even if they fell, the Americans themselves, or if you're in Australia, or, or if you're in Canada, even if the, the res, I mean, the, um, the natives, they are complaining all the time, it's not, it's not for us to complain all the time. Let's not complain. Let's thank God. You know? And yes, back home is good, Hatukatai, but you have to ask yourself, is the life you're living here the same life you'll be living back home? You know? Let's not put it like, oh, okay, if I don't make it to America, uh, if I don't make it to America, then I can make it somewhere else. You can make it somewhere. You can go somewhere else. And I pray that may the Lord open that door for you. I, I, I honestly believe with you that God is going to make a way. Even if you go to Europe, even if you go to, uh, you go to whichever country you go to, student visa, visitor visa, fiancé visa, you know, spouse visa, whether your child has filed for you, uh, you know, whether you're coming here to work with a work visa, Whichever way you use, you know, because some people come here with a work visa. Some people come here to, uh, they come here as students. Whichever way you use, whichever way you use, you know, as long as you find yourself here. That's the, that's the goal. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So there are so many different ways. Yeah. A lot of people, they come here with different visas, very many different visas. Like there are so many different visas to land you to the U.S. and to land you to other countries. So always, uh, if you have a dream of going abroad, just know, be, have, be open, have open-minded. I mean, be open-minded. Just know that you can go to someone, you, you can go to another country, you know. If America is taking long to... Is Quivana, you know, <laughs> if coming to America is taking forever, then we can always try somewhere else, right? Guys, you know what? I'm done cutting. I'm going to go pick up my daughter because the time is so much gone. It's 2.25 and I don't want to be late. So I'll come back and finish chopping and blending. I like to blend. You know what? If I if I if I make this food with the uh, onions like this and garlic and whatever, all chopped like this, the kids don't like it. You should see my daughter trying to pick onions and pushing onions on the side, pushing carrots on the side, pushing these on the side. She's very picky. So that's that. Let me cut my my cilantro. The cilantro will be the last one to go. I think we have beef. Yay, we have beef. Ah, why, why was I talking about I have to go to the store and buy beef? We have beef. I knew we have beef. I think I'm just going to put it in the microwave to defrost. And now for the few minutes left. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's 240. I'm thinking it's 225. Guy. Guys. It's too far, my goodness. Let me defrost this. So to end up to end this uh, video, I just want to say is uh, what I want to say is do not be discouraged. Uh, America is good. Um, you know, even if it's not good for everyone, it's good for me. I have. I have my personal testimony that America has done me good and I cannot regret being here. So make sure you apply for that green card when that time come. And sorry, I'm not able to finish cooking uh, because I have to go. But yeah, do not be discouraged. Let nobody ever tell you that this country is not good. Let nobody tell you that it's so hard here. You cannot make it. You can make it. 
let nobody lie to you that this place is like is so bad it's, it's not bad it's good because a lot of us have been here uh, uh, we have been here you've seen the goodness so thank you for watching take care and i will see you on the next one so stay tuned god bless you bye